Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, I wanna share with you one of the most useful minor chord progressions. You've gotta know it as a guitar player, and this is gonna help you in so many songs because it comes up time after time. Let's dive straight into it here. I'm gonna show it to you in the key of A minor. Now, we're gonna start out just playing the top four strings. We're gonna play seven, then five, 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 doing a bar there with my index finger. Now that's an A minor chord, and it really looks like part of this full big A minor, but it's just the top four strings, if you know your full bar chord there. So what we're gonna do with this chord is we're gonna actually take the lowest note, the note on the fourth string, and drop it down one fret at a time like this. So I'm playing there the seventh fret, then the sixth fret, the fifth fret, and then four, five, five, five. So in this video, I'm gonna show you three different ways of playing that chord progression. But before we go any further, if you're new to the channel, I wanna give you a gift right away. Let me ask you, have you ever struggled getting your guitar in tune without a tuner? I know for me, this is something that I struggled with for way too long until I stumbled across just a simple system that was like a light bulb moment for me and I was finally able to get my guitar right in tune and fast. And so what I did was put together just a simple PDF that shows you the five steps you need to start implementing to be able to grab a guitar that's maybe way out of tune and get it right in tune with itself fast. And I wrote them down in just a simple step-by-step -step PDF. I want to give it to you completely for free. Now, this is something that you're not going to see out there. In fact, if you just Google how to tune your guitar, you're not going to see this method anywhere. But for me, it was something that was a light bulb moment, and it finally fixed my tuning problems. So I want to give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash tuning, and you can download it right there as my gift to you and always get your guitar right in tune. So hope you enjoy that. All right, well with that said, back to the progression. So we're playing an A minor to an A minor major seven, an A minor seven, and then an A minor six. Now it sounds fancy, really as I mentioned, just that one note is moving down in each chord change. And you hear this in tunes like Stairway to Heaven, right? Listen to that bass note walking down in the minor chord. Or you also hear it in tunes like Oye Como Va, Santana's version. So we're just walking down that progression there. Now, as a few tips to this, I might, like Clapton does this, he uses his thumb over the top of the neck. So if you can, you would play that same progression but put an A bass note there at the fifth fret with your thumb, and that would sound like this. Which is a great sound. You'll hear that in Old Love, he plays those changes. Now, if the thumb is too hard, another way of playing this, you could do it you know, just based off your typical bar chord, and that might look something like this. So these are great voicings here. I'm playing five, seven, seven, five, five, five. That's an A minor bar chord. And then again, I'm gonna walk that note, that A note down. It's gonna be five, seven, six, five, five, five. Walk it down again, take off that middle finger. And bar there, we've got an A minor seven. And then the last chord, a bit of a stretch, but a beautiful sound is A minor six, and it looks like your A minor bar chord, but you just take this note and move it up two frets, and you've got the A minor six, so it would be. Mm -hmm. 
So that's the first example. Again, you could play just the top part, you could add the thumb, you could play these bar chords, just a couple of my go-to options. Now let's look at another way, and this way has a root on the fifth string. So this would apply to say a D minor chord. Here I would play five, seven, seven, six for the D minor. Then I'm gonna walk that note down. And I do that by grabbing there with, this is a bit of a tricky move here. You gotta train your middle finger to be able to bar down like that. That's five, seven, six, six. Some people do it like this put a finger on every fret. That, that's a little too much work for me. I just, I just bar it down like this. And then D minor seven, five, seven, five, six, like that. And then similar to the A minor six chord, we've got a D minor six like this. Five, nine, seven, six. So that all together would go like this. That would be the second way that I would approach this. Let me give you one more here. And this is gonna start with a root on the fourth string. So I'm playing seven, nine, 10, eight. This is for an A minor. What I'm gonna do is walk this note on the second string back. Okay, so that's seven, nine, 10, eight. Then bring that pinky back, seven, nine, nine, eight. It's your A minor major seven. Then we're gonna do a little bar here, right? It looks like that, that shape here that we did for the D. Just shift it over, seven, nine, eight, eight, and then seven, nine, seven, eight. That's an A minor six. So you get this. And the Beatles use this all the time, like in the song Something. There's actually the organ part. This is note for note, the organ voicings here. That's over the, don't wanna leave for now. You know I believe in how. You know, in the song, something. So just playing those top three notes again. You've got that descending moving line, or you can add another note here. So just to review, those three main shapes would look like this. You could do, it's probably the easiest one here, or A minor, or add some bass notes. And D minor. And then A minor up here. So those are some of my go-to shapes for this chord progression. As I mentioned, it's gonna help you with playing so many songs. You're gonna recognize it now that you know that progression. So work on those shapes and remember that even if you get all the notes perfectly clean and the rhythm right, but you're not in tune, that's a bummer. So make sure to grab my five step secret tuning method. Again, you're not gonna see this out there anywhere. It's just a simple guide that's gonna show you the steps that I use, it was a big light bulb moment for me, a solution to finally be able to get my guitar in tune without a tuner. And this just gave me more confidence to my playing and really helped train my ear. So I wanna give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash tuning. You can download it right there as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening. And if you like this chord progression, I think you'll really like this video next.